house when I thought the blizzard couldn't get any better. DQ put the blizzard inside a waffle cone. This is mind blowing. So when DQ asked me how I would tell the world, I said, <laughs> Sounds better in Italian. Pretty impressive, Liz. Any blizzard, like confetti cake, now in a fresh baked waffle cone. This is fan food, not fast food. Welcome back. Our next story is about Quincy's Saddle Up for St. Jude event last Saturday. Here's Jeff Chu with that story. Horseback riders from around Grant County saddled up Saturday for the sixth annual national event to benefit St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Riders and other donors have given about $7,500 over the past six years. Donations go to the research hospital founded in 1962 by the late actor and comedian Danny Thomas. St. Jude Children's Research Hospital is internationally recognized for its pioneering research and treatment of children with cancer and other catastrophic diseases. Mary Ellen Warren, a Moses Lake writer, says the event called Saddle Up for St. Jude has been going on for six years at different equestrian trails around the county. She and Vicki Walker coordinate the event, which has a history in the county. Well, this all originated years ago when our Vicki, the coordinator, and myself had children. Uh, it's about almost 20 years ago. One of our local businessmen that ran the tax shop would sponsor this event. And it was, it was a small event, but it was a family event. We'd take our kids out and go trail riding for a good cause for St. Jude. They decided to create their own ride for St. Jude in 2008. So six years ago, we got together and we sponsored our first Saddle Up for St. Jude event. And we've been doing it ever since. We choose different venues around Grant County. And today we happen to be out at Ancient Lakes in um, Quincy on the Columbia River. And we'll be riding for a couple of hours and enjoying the friendship of good friends and, and for a good cause. Warren says the fundraiser has special meaning for her family. Three years ago, my husband had a heart attack and they had to go in and scope his heart. And he had this little card and where they enter, the, the part where they enter the vein and then they, to send the scope up, they have to plug it. And that plug, this according to this card, was developed by St. Jude. So I myself have benefited and that's why I'm so excited about this. Riders can donate as little as $10 each to ride for St. Jude Hospital. It changes from year to year, of course. It depends on what everybody's doing on that weekend. And so we have about 16 to 20 riders, maybe 25. This year, it looks like we might have a little more. As the years go by, we get more riders coming. The event moves to a different location around Grant County each year. We have done out at Black Rock Lake, and we've done uh, south down at the potholes, and now we're here, and next year I think we'll choose one of those other locations. I'm Jeff Chu for iFiber One News. We'll be right back after this.